Hey everybody, it's Paul and I'm out in my workshop and I thought I'd just like to give everybody a kind of a behind the scenes look at some of the things that I have here and some of the things that I do. It's where I spend most of my time during the day so uh, it's an important spot to me and I thought you might find a little bit of it interesting. So here's a look. So we start off with the base, the, the guts of the workshop, which is the workbench where most of the stuff gets built and most of the repairs get done. And we can see here we've got a workbench with a vise and a quick release grip vise for easy load of shafts in here when I'm regripping and cutting. And we've got some grips on samples here of different sizes and different styles. Sorry. And down on the bottom we got a couple of tools of the trade. So over here on the left is a shaft puller that goes in the vise. And then next to that is a compressor that I use for blowing off grips. And then I've got my sander here which comes up on the bench which is used to rough up the tips, turn down ferrules, um, a braid shaft before they go in. And then we have here, which is one of my oldest pieces that I've had for probably 30, 30 odd years or so. It's a shaft dimpler. So you put your shaft in here, in this little spot, and you clamp it down and there's a little pointy spot right here in the dimpler that you can see will actually set a dimple in a shaft. And then what that does is it helps you uh, keep epoxy into the shaft. It gives it another little place to hold on to. So that's the workbench. And then inside the workbench is all of the miscellaneous things that I would use in the run of a day, things that are consumables, tape, epoxy mixing sticks, drill bits, shaft extractor bits, gauges, shaft clamps, uh, rubber shaft clamps, just different things that I use on a day-to-day -day basis. And then over here we've got uh, the accessories for the gripping station. So this basket is where I keep any grips that are going to be applied. And then underneath that I will have my tape and my supplies that I use for day-to-day -day gripping. So then we walk over to the back end. The back end is where I've got my little putting green built. And I've got a variety of putters and wedges here that are for sale and for demos and for testing. And various different certificates for fitting. We start at the bottom here. We've got Golf Pride, Callaway, Cobra, TaylorMade, KBS. And then coming down the other side, we've got Titleist. We have Titleist again. And then we have one that I'm really, really proud of, which is the big one in the middle, which is the Callaway Staff Professional Hall of Fame, which I was inducted into in 2017 at a ceremony in Carlsbad. Then as we move away, we've got my fitting stations here. So these are fitting carts for Callaway and Toredge and Cobra. And these are all the different heads in the shafts of components that get used during a fitting. And they come back and forth to uh, various places with me. Then as we move around through, we've got another one of my oldest pieces, which is my loft and lie machine. So this handy little thing here allows me to change the lie angles of clubs and loft angles also and this one's been with me for once again probably close to 30 years and then as we continue on down the line we've got my clubs and then we've got a variety of other staff bags over the years and these ones would have an assortment of used shafts used clubs a collection of new shafts a wide variety of steel shafts and graphite shafts and some old clubs that are keep I keep them around for parts because a lot of these will have shafts or head styles that don't exist anymore and every now and then I'll be able to come up with something that is not on the market anymore to help somebody get their club fixed and then towards the end here we've just got kind of a few things that I keep on hand at all time for retail some sets some bags We've got an electric cart, we've got a couple of pull carts, we've got some bags again. And then we continue on over to the storage area, which are all the grips. So we've got 
probably 30 different styles of grips that I keep on hand at any given time and I've got a wide variety and then some stuff is waiting to go out so these are repairs that are done and we're waiting for the customers to pick them up so that's kind of a look at my shop and one last little spot is over here on the wall which is once again just a few more diplomas a few more certificates of things that we've accomplished over the years um, uh, this is kind of an interesting one here this is shares in Ballyhaley that were given to me uh, posthumously by my grandfather's estate who he bought shares in Ballyhaley in 1942 it looks like so I'm a part owner I guess or however that works whether I have voting rights or whether these are dissolved I have no idea but it was always pretty cool and then we've got some other things here this is a signed program from the PGA show in Orlando signed by Byron Nelson on the anniversary of his 11 in a row and 18 wins in a total season and that one was really special because he didn't live much past that actually and then we have up here which is my favorite golf picture in the entire world which is me taken on number two at Terranova probably in around mid 1990s somewhere and once again this shot still surfaces in Terranova's marketing every now and then and I love it because it is such a great shot. So that's it for my workshop. So that's a look at behind the scenes of my workshop. And it's where I spend most of my time during the day. I'm out, either out here tinkering with my own clubs, tweaking things, changing different things around, or fixing someone else's so that they can get up and running again. So I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for tuning in.